Hey guys, today I've got a matching Maytag Bravos washer and electric dryer. And right now, got it loaded up here with some uh, towels, jackets, shirts, jeans, that kind of thing. And even though this model doesn't have the agitator post, it has the agitation plate. And you still want to load it the same way with the clothes spread out evenly around the center of that plate. You never want to cover that up. Just a little tip there for you. So with that set up, we're gonna go ahead and put this on. We'll just do normal. Uh, let's see here, we got spin speed, max, wash temp, cold, cold. We'll just go warm, cold, soil level, medium. This right here pretty much designates how long it's gonna sit there with the agitation plate and agitate. We've got a cycle signal, in cycle, so that's off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. Not gonna worry about the extra rinse. Sure, we'll hit fabric softener even though I don't use it. Uh, that's pretty much gonna be it. We'll go ahead and hit start. Now, once my heat kicks off, you'll be able to hear this better as I move through the video. But first thing it's gonna do is kinda sense and balance the load, then we'll start adding the water and uh, all that. So we'll come back as it moves through the time. You'll be able to hear it agitating and then you'll be able to hear the nice, fast, smooth, final spin cycle as well. All right, so we're a few minutes into the cycle. If you can hear it adding water. Normally I can bypass the lid lock switch and lift this up and kind of see what's going on. But unfortunately this model, it's just not possible to bypass that lid lock. Um, so we're just gonna have to kind of watch it move through its time and listen to it here. But it's been adding water now for about five minutes or so. So it's gonna get those clothes nice, saturated, wet, and then it'll be moving into the agitation here in just a minute. Okay, and it's continuing to stop and add a little more water, but it is now agitating, if you can hear that. It's got a nice strong agitation. This is about the fourth load that I've ran through it. I always run at least four loads through them to ensure everything is working perfect. So next I will let you hear the drain working properly and then we'll be on to the final spin cycle. All right guys, we'll try to hear it over my heat running, but uh, it is now draining the water out. You can hear it draining nice and fast there. And it's got 25 minutes left, so it's gonna switch over to the rinse cycle now and move on from there. Okay, so now it has filled back up clean water can hear it agitating. Next step is it's going to drain out that water, the rinse water, and then we'll be on to the final spin cycle. And it sounds like it's still adding a little water here and there as it goes. Okay, now we're up to full spin speed on the final spin. It's spinning extremely fast, which is great for max extraction of the water out of those clothes. Cut your dry time in half. Once it finishes up, I'm gonna open this up here and show you just how light those clothes are gonna come out. But you can see it sounds great. Nice smooth operation. Just hardly to little to no vibration at all in the machine. You can see that there. All right, we'll let that finish up. Okay, they're done. It sang its little tune since I turned the alert on. As we can see in here, let's go ahead and pull these out. You can see these are super light. Even the bigger, heavier jackets, nice and light. So these will all the way off the bottom there. Nice and light clothing. So did an excellent job getting the max amount of water out of these clothes. So we'll go ahead and move those over to the dryer. Okay, so I've got the dryer ready to go here. I set everything to heavy duty, so it's on max heat, um, all that. Of course, there's tons of options here. If you have delicates you wanna dry, um, tons of different options and settings you can do. We've got those clothes in here. You see, nice bright light, huge capacity on both this washer and dryer. If I didn't mention that already, um, this would be considered a king size capacity, about the biggest they make. So we'll go ahead and close that up, hit start. I'm 
I'm gonna give it just a minute to, here's your auto sensor kicked in, so let you know the clothes are still wet, and it'll go all the way through the cycle here. Now what I've got here is a um, surface temperature gun. So in between those two red dots, it's gonna take a surface temperature measurement. So whatever I shine it on, it's gonna tell me how hot or cold it is. So it's about 61 degrees on the top of this dryer here. And shine it on the floor, it'll change up. This floor's obviously a little bit colder. So we'll go ahead and open this up. I'm gonna shoot it right inside the heating element tube. You see plenty of heat coming out of that tube there. Uh, that in turn heats up the inside of your dryer anywhere from about 95 up to 195, depending on what you have your heat setting at. And we've got the lint trap right there. You always wanna check that before each load. Hit go on that. So I'm gonna let that finish up and I'll go ahead and get these listed up for sale. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to reach out on the listing. Uh, there's a description with basically everything on there you'd want to know, but if you have any additional questions, please let me know. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. Thanks. You guys have a great day.